Hello, this is my classroom aquaponic system. It's a 50 gallon aquarium with four two and a half by two and a half grow trays. Um, I have it tiered up so I just have to use two pumps. One pump pumps are right here in the front, one pump pumps to this side, the other pump pumps to this other side. Here, let's let the camera focus. Um, it pumps up from one of these pumps just like this here um, this one's in the back corner it pumps up through here and I have it running in the inside up to here let's move this jungle out the way and I have it pumping into some filter floss we're experimenting with the different types of gravel or I should say hydroponic medium this is hydroponic gravel this is hydrotin, both of these, they're two different types. This one's from Germany and uh, this one's just American made, bought in a local hydroponic store. And this is expanded shell. This is probably the cheapest for me to get that's actually a hydroponic media medium besides uh, gravel. But we're, we're growing a lot of different things. I'll start over here on this far side. Uh, we have uh, green beans. You can see we got some. Oh, sorry about that. We've got some baby green beans right here. Uh, we should have quite a bit. Some weird ones. Here's some other ones. Uh, this is a plant I actually pulled out a hydroponic system that the students were doing, and you can see the leaves are showing it was having a nutrient deficiency, so I moved it over here. And since then, it started doing a lot better, putting out new leaves and whatnot. But we have uh, mint, chocolate mint, peppermint. This is a uh, kung fu flower. One of my Vietnamese students had this. This is all kale. Um, we're gonna move it out. I want to do a dwarf variety. This is a uh, orchid bush that we're just starting in here that we're gonna transplant to the soil. And the inside, uh, you can see here we've recently cut the tops of these but the plant is very very dense um, we've cut it quite a few times given it to a local sushi restaurant this is a uh, lemon basil this right here is uh, Thai Siam Queen basil it's almost like a licorice this is spicy basil anyways these ones over here we're pretty much just coming in cutting them every day and then we're transplanting them and propagating them in the same tray this whole tray here is going to be nothing but basil. Over here, we got a couple various things. I have a clone from a grapefruit tree that one of my students brought in. Um, it's very difficult to clone citrus trees um, when you're not talking about like just grafting them. But as you can see, we were successful. See very good root structure, some new uh, roots growing in there. Put it back in that soil. Don't want to stress it out too much. Uh, we got coriander. This is all just, you know, just various plants that the students put in here. Here's a beaker. Probably don't care about that. This is a butter crunch lettuce we've thrown in. We'll thin it out later. All this is um, a plant from Thailand called stinkweed. It grows in uh, riverbeds. It has hollow shoots allowing it to float on top. They love systems like this. Um, this right here is a cutting from an older Thai eggplant. Um, because it's so short, usually you don't see this, but because it's so short, um, it has an eggplant. You usually don't see eggplants on young eggplant plants like this. But this one has a very beautiful young one. It's the first one we've had. We've tried it in hydroponics. The plant's always too stressed out and it ends up dropping the flowers. Um, all this again, this is hoary basil, which is, um, I don't really know what to compare it to. It's not a very common basil. We've just transplanted, so it's looking kind of weak. Uh, this is our bell pepper. We got four bell pepper plants right here. You can see, uh, give the camera time to focus. If it will focus, let's see if I click it, if it'll focus. No, but there's a flower right there. There you go. 
And uh, this all in the back is musk millen. It grows similar to uh, cantaloupe. It's a vining plant. Here's a vine. Um, and again, here's the one coming off a hydroponic system that the students did. These were both planted in a hydroponic system and this aquaponic system at the same time. The hydroponic system that I'm talking about is the one on the opposite side of the classroom right there. Let it focus. There we go. That one right there. Um, the students are doing it. I mean, if I was doing it, it might have done a little better. But as you can see, this is the leaf from the hydroponic system where you're pretty much the dictator. This system, aquaponics, you're more of a conductor where you just conduct these natural processes. But as you can see, one of the leaves from this muskmelon, very different in color and size uh, because of the HPS light bulb, this doesn't really give it true justice. But this is much darker green and you can just tell from the size that it's overall healthier. This is some more little baby eggplants that we have coming in. But anyways, that's the system in my classroom. Uh, have a good day.